Hello, today I'd like to show you one of the stitches that I commonly use when I'm doing uh, red work stitchery. Um, so I've got everything I pretty much need to do it here. I've got my fabric, on the back I've got a stabiliser. If I'm doing a design I would probably draw it with a water erasable marking pen. I've got some scissors, I've got some stranded embroidery cottons and I usually use two strands at a time when I'm doing red work. Uh, that can vary but as a general statement. And so today I'm going to show you how to do a little star stitch so that you might want to do a little star you might want to do a star with a longer thread on it to me that looks a little bit like a dandelion seed that floats around the place um, or maybe I'm just being a little creative but anyway so we're going to bring our thread up we're going to just make a stitch this is just a fun simple little stitch and I'm going to take the thread down and then I'm going to come back up about halfway the length of your stitch here, half that distance away from the centre of that stitch because we're going to make a cross. So we're going to come across here and try and make that roughly the same length. It's not critical that it be exact but it's quite nice if it's somewhere close. So we're just going to make a cross initially and then we're going to do the cross on the diagonal. So you want to come out somewhere there and straight down there and we want to come up and do the last one here Oops, somewhere there. and straight across there so if you can keep it so that the centers cross over fairly well that is very helpful it doesn't always happen but it's um, it's kind of nice if you can so I'll just do one more just to show you. So we bring your thread up, make your stitch, and of course you can do these all different sizes. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be in the red work, it can be any colour embroidery. Um, and these little stars could be little flowers, they could be all sorts of things. So we've done our first stitch and we're just going to make a cross and come over that side. And then come back and do the other two diagonally across so that they cr all cross in the centre. And one last one. So there. And so you can see here I've done um, a particularly long strand because I was thinking that could be um, for some other purpose like a little flower or something but if you're just doing little stars something like that works really well. So. I have got a stitch guide that's available on my website. It's a free download, so you can just go to the website on gourmetquilter.com and download and print that if that interests you. It shows you several of the stitches that I would normally use if I'm doing red work or simple embroidery. And then I'll show you an example of a quilt where I've used the little star stitch, just so you can see how it might be used. So I've made this quilt here, and it's called Red Work Angels, and it's just a whole series of of angels and these little there's there's kind of stars all over the place but we'll just show you on these little triplets down here that um, they've got little stars and I've done a, a, a variety of sizes within around a little angel and it just gives it that little bit of a, a zing I guess I quite like the little starry look so this is a pattern that I've done this is called red work angels this is available to purchase and download on my site gourmetquilter.com um, just so that you can see and know that that's available. But uh, mostly I was wanting to show you how to do the stitchery today because I think that's um, it's a great little occupation. Stitchery is, is a nice relaxing way to do things. I'm not normally a hand sewer, but I find that I do enjoy doing something like this because it doesn't require a huge amount of technical ability. So today it was the star stitch. Thank you.